All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to build a free and easy capture page, also known as a landing page or a squeak page. A capture page is important because usually you have about 30 seconds to capture people's attention. So if you send them to a website or a blog that is full of information, if something doesn't jump out and grab them within that 30 seconds, then they're going to click away and you could lose them for good. The capture page creates enough curiosity and desire for them to want to know more, which is how you're going to um, continue to follow up with them and capture them. Usually from there, they enter their name and email, and you then are able to give them information little by little, rather than overwhelming them and causing them to spend time searching for the information. Depending on how well you do this and how much they are interested or desire the information you have, is going to determine how many people will follow you and how loyal they become. So we're going to create this capture page with a free piece of software called Composer. To get this software, just go to Google and type in K-O-M-P-Z-E-R. And you'll just be able to download it quickly from there. Here we are, though, within the Composer software. And the first thing you're going to want to do is give it a background. So you go to Format. Page colors and background, use custom colors, click on the background, and I'm going to choose black. You can choose any color you want, and then click OK. You can also upload an image as your background, so you would just click this file folder, find the image that you have saved on your computer, and upload it, and then click OK. Now, the next thing we want to do is add a section that you can put your content in, like your header, your bullet points, maybe a video, and opt-in form. So go ahead and click Insert Table. We're going to do a one-by-one. One. And now we're going to give it some dimensions. So what we'll do is we'll right-click Table Cell Properties. and First off, we want the in the cells tab, you want the content alignment to be centered. And you can always change that later and I'll show you how. Um, and you want the background color, choose your background color. I'm going to have white. Click OK. And then we'll go to table. And I want the height to be 100% of the window and the width to be 700 pixels. And that's going to give it a little bit of indention on both sides. We're going to leave the border at 1. Unless you want it more evident, then you can make it a higher number. And we'll align the table alignment in the center. And hit Apply. And OK. Now you see that you have this table that you can start adding content to. So we're going to go ahead and add a header. And if you want to make it bigger, you can click body text. We're going to click heading one for the main header. You can also size it by clicking these up and down arrows. And we'll do the other one at heading 3. And we'll size that up once too. So you can just play around with that until you get the look and feel that you want. And we're going to just add some other content, which really is just nothing, because I want to show you here. If you didn't want this to be centered, you would just highlight it and click the left alignment. And now I'm going to show you how to insert a video. So first we're going to go to YouTube, and this is just a random video. Click Embed, and then it will highlight the embed code, so you just Control-C. Go back to your Composer software. Insert HTML, and Control-V to copy and paste it. Now earlier I was playing around with this and for some reason I couldn't get the video to center and um, using the table cell properties. So if you can't get it to do that, if it's not centering, then you can easily um, add some center tags here at the beginning of the code. So less than 
symbol and then the word center and then the greater than symbol. And then down at the end of the code, you also have the less than symbol and then forward slash center and then the greater than symbol. I'm also going to make this video dimension a little smaller. It's 560 by 340. I'm going to make it 360 by 240. Make it a little smaller so that you can obviously see that it is centered. And to do that, you have to do it both at the beginning of the code and at the end. And you have to make sure they are the same dimensions, so 360 by 240. And then you click Insert. And there you have, you'll see that it says Object, and that's where your video is. You're not going to see the video in Composer, but it is there, and you'll be able to see it once you publish it, once you publish your website. So as you can see, it is centered. And another way you could format this is to insert a table, make it a 1 by 2, and left click in that side of it, insert your HTML, and I'm just going to use the same one. And actually, I made the dimensions a little smaller, and I didn't use the center tags because we're having it in a two-table thing, so we probably won't need it. We go ahead and insert it, and you can see that the video is right there. And then you can click on the other side of the table and just add some content, or you could add your opt-in form which I'll show you how to do in a minute. So that's just another way of formatting your content if you prefer to do it that way. And for now I'm just going to undo that so that we can have a pretty clean website. So now I'm going to show you how to enter a opt-in form. The first thing you need to do is go to your autoresponder account and I'm using Traffic Wave here. So if you have a different autoresponder, you'll need to find out how you get the web form from them, but um, it's a web form HTML source code, but they're all pretty similar. So once logged in, you're going to see a page like this. You click Campaign Manager. We're going to select the campaign that we want. And then we go to Capture Forms and click Capture Form. and scroll down and here you can adjust some parameters um, for example you can put a website so that once they fill out the form and they click submit um, a web page will open up and if you wanted to do that you would put that website address in the subscription URL and click adjust and that will adjust the code um, also, you can put a website that will open up once they go to their email and confirm their subscription, and you would put that under the confirmation URL and then click Adjust before copying the code down here. And so here's the code. You're just going to select all and then Control C, and we go back to Composer, and again insert HTML, Control V, insert. And there you see your form code. One last thing I want to show you before we go ahead and upload this to your site. So let's say that you have this really powerful header and really powerful subheader and you got some really cool bullet points or content information. And then you have this video that just explains whatever it is you're explaining really, really well. And you just know that people are going to want to either sign up or go uh, to the company website and get some more information. So here what I've done is put to register, click here. But then we also include, be sure to enter your information in the form below in order to, to receive our super powerful training system and so on. We give them something really, really enticing that they're going to also want to fill out their information in the form below. So what I want to show you here is just how to make this click here a clickable link so it's another website that they can go to. And let me back up here. So you go ahead and you highlight the click here 
then you click the link icon and put in the website address. And then you want it to open in a new window and you click OK. And when you upload that, that will be a link that they can click to go to another website. And I wouldn't do that unless the information that you're providing below is really, really enticing and you know that they're going to want to fill out the form too. In this situation, we do that because we want them to be able to go sign up and then we want them to be able to get their training. So if they're going to sign up, they're going to fill out this form because they're going to want to be trained is the idea of this. Okay, so now that the page is done, we're going to need to save it. We'll save as, just give it a name. I'm going to call it Capture for now. Okay. So you're going to log into your hosting account and go to File Manager and choose the domain that you want to upload it to. And of course, I have a ton here, but you will do the one that you registered for. Then select Upload. And browse your computer. And find where you saved the file. Let's hit it, open, and it will start to upload. Once it's done uploading, it'll say complete, and you can go back to the home page. And now you need to rename it. And you'll need to rename it index.html. Then go ahead and Type the domain name that you uploaded the website to into your browser. And there you have it. You have your heading, the video, click here, and the web form. And that's how you do it.